I, Glenn Richard Bradford, stand before you today as a human being who recognizes that through words, justice is served. In the second year of the second decade of this beautiful 21st century of the year of our Lord, there came a time when evil began to act as if command of our fate was within its power. Surely I say to you that the construction of the Constitution is not as ongoing as some would wish it to be. Fannie and Freddie have more than repaid that which has been borrowed. After all, 187.5 is less than 225. If you ask the administration, Barack Obama puts it best. That's the good thing about being president. I can do whatever I want. On September 19, 2011, Federal Housing Finance Agency's Acting Director Edward J. DeMarco stated, the enterprises will not be able to earn their way back to a condition that allows them to emerge from conservatorship. On August 17, 2012, DeMarco, prior director of U.S. Treasury, entered into an agreement with his prior employer that ensured that his prior employer would have all profits forever. The profits that immediately followed would have made Fannie Mae the most profitable company in the world's history the following year with record profits of $84 billion. Sometimes you have to go back to actually move forward. I know there are those that say, you can't go back. Yes, you can. So here we are. Fannie and Freddie have more than repaid that which has been borrowed. After all, 187.5 is less than 225. Not only has the government insisted on shrouding all documents in a veil of secrecy known as a protective order, but FHFA and Treasury have further shielded responsive documents from disclosure by broadly asserting executive privilege. Why? Money is not the only answer, but it makes a difference. Truly I say to you, let not him who is houseless pull down the house of another, but let him work diligently and build one for himself, thus by example assuring that his own shall be safe from violence when built. It is no secret that there has been much jealousy surrounding the magnificent opportunities created and supported by Fannie and Freddie. Treasury's prior director, DeMarco, attempted to pull down the houses of Fannie and Freddie. Surely justice is not served by any agreement that supports the notion that when you pay someone back, you still owe them. We, the people, recognize that we have responsibilities as well as rights, that our destinies are bound together, that a freedom which only asks, what's in it for me? A freedom without commitment to others, a freedom without love, or charity, or duty, or patriotism is unworthy of our founding ideals and those who died in their defense. Freedom is the emancipation from the arbitrary rule of other men. And freedom we shall have, the most basic of which is private property rights. The Fifth Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America protects us all from government expropriation of private property without just compensation, and it is in Judge Sweeney's Court of Claims where shareholders of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will see justice served. We know that in the course of events, there are things that people do and that people don't always get everything right the first time. Animals we were once, and memories fleeting are sure to fade just as night turns today. Tomorrow, the sun will rise again, and when it does, long live Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae.